And we are back. Let's see if this works this time. You can see everything just right. Yep. You're Good. outside. Good. Fucking things being just difficult. But yeah, I gotta avoid the billy goats for now because I can still kick my ass. And I was really stupid wasting a bottle rocket early on in the game. Bottle rockets are not really that rare. You can buy them, but they're very, very expensive. Like three thousand dollars. Actually, that's the multi bottle rocket. Yes, depends on the item. Okay, your very own tent. Not really. You see, these people are looking for Tessie, the game's equivalent of Loch Ness monster. Something tells me you're gonna have to fight it. Nope. Tessie is a uh, friendly creature. Oh, that's good. Nice change. We're in the Lake Tess... Lake Tess, and this guy just basically tells us that he thinks that monkeys don't like chewing gum, but yet we have the bubble monkey. <laughs> yeah. I'm very sorry for the last episode, guys. I didn't expect my friend to be so inattentive, so... Hopefully, Brandon will do a lot better job. Oh, that's right. If you go on that uh, phone there, you can save your game. But I don't really need to save just yet. Oh, okay. A phone to save a game. <laughs> well, there's more crazy things than Mother 3. You get to save your game with a frog. Oh, well. Now, eating well, this stew will cause it to be... Yeah, it'll start this thing again. The telekinesis talking thing. Pretty much. Now, this is Jeff's special ability. When his intelligence is high in different parts of the game, he'll start fixing items in the middle of the night. Different items will yield different uh, special abilities. The higher the uh, Jeff's intelligence, the better. Now we got Defense Spray. Oh, that's neat. He's kind of like a little... He's a tinkerer. Tinkerer, yeah. Now, that it's daylight... That's fucking hard transition on my eyes. Now, for Tess... Do you see that ripple in the water? Yeah. Yep, there she is. Oh, yeah. It's this guy. I never... Ah. I never said a word to Anderson, <laughs> I just asked him. Photographic genius. And I'm also sorry if you guys it. catch another conversation. I'm actually downstairs when I'm recording this. I'm sorry. Normally I record when I'm alone or not. Now let's start this. Now we give the bubble monkey some bubbles. Bubble gum. And this happens. <laughs> so, what do you think of the Lake Test Monster? Looks like a dinosaur. It is a dinosaur. Interesting fact. Tessie gets teleported in Mother 3 in the Hall of Memories. Which is strange, but still. Now we gotta wait for this to swim all the way over to the other side. Where we I guess the monkey and the dinosaur are best friends. Pretty much. You gotta wait, unfortunately. I could fast forward it, but that would ruin the Let's Play, but I just have to wait for it, I guess. Yeah, it's not that long. Strangely enough, if you see that Tessie's actually avoiding the shallow parts of the water. Or I can yeah. actually put my foot in my mouth now. Well, for the most part, until they started to land. Pretty much. And now Tessie will disappear. No worries, we get to meet her again later. Eww. I'm sorry, but that's the derpiest looking fucking dinosaur I've ever seen. There yeah. we go. Yeah, the bubble monkey has a bad habit of lagging. Oh, good God, no. Oh, uh, more goats. I'll fucking off screen you, bitch. Oh, no. Inevitable. Fuck my life. 
scruff goat. Ooh, lucky. Ouch. Come on, got one more try. Oh, yes. Fuck you. Oh, not a salt packet. God damn it. Well, that's done. Why are salt packets bad? Because it's a condiment. If you add... Oh my god, I could have ate the boiled egg with that. Fuck. Yeah. Basically what happens if you eat, like, the condiments mixed with certain items will affect how much health you get. Some items mix best with others. Oh, so like in RuneScape with the uh, potatoes and the baked potatoes. Pretty with much. With tuna soaked in. Now, we gotta be careful here, because this enemy is really nasty. If you remember when I was playing earlier, this is actually the nasty mouses that fucked Ness up pretty bad when I was first playing. Yeah. And that takes care of that. I'm trying to get past this maze, but I really want to show Brandon one of the most awesome enemies in this dungeon. Yes, this is technically a dungeon. And that's my dog. Yes, I'm a big bad man and I own a little freaking toy poodle thing. Whatever the hell that's called. Maltese. You don't own shit. Yeah. Yes, that's my family in the background. I tend to lock them up in the fucking... You don't care if to lock us up. We Anyways. I can, make, I can make power equipment fly, right, Brett? Yeah, pretty much. Unfortunately, worthless protoplasm just kicked my ass. Hmm. Oh, did you see that, by the way? See what? That. <laughs> <laughs> this is the mad duck. It's a duck. Yes, it's a duck. But it doesn't do anything. So it's like a magic carp. No, Magikarp can make itself useful. That's the only attack it has that does damage, is to peck your eyes. Other than, other than that, he can only spin around, which takes away power psychic points, but Jeff doesn't have psychic points. So it's quite useless against him. It's a good way to level grind. Mm. Insecticide spray. That's for, well, bugs, sir. But there's barely any bugs in here. I think that present right there is actually an enemy, but I'm not too sure. Nope, a broken iron. Well, I just made myself a fucking liar. Well, it might be another present. There's a lot of presents in this place. Very that soon we're gonna distracted. actually. Oh, there's another mad duck. Oh, yeah, if you read this sign, I think something happens. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Picture Man, if you haven't noticed, there's a giant fucking mad duck behind you. You might want to do something about that. Nah, he don't care. Pretty much. Fuzzy Pickles. Nothing good comes to mind when I think about that. And now we deal with a mad duck again. But yeah, oh my god, Bubble Monkey actually got smash damage. That sometimes never happens. For all that, oh my, okay, maybe I'm absolutely fucking stupid and I was wrong about that. I thought they were actually quite weak, but it just reduced me to 17 health. That fucking hurt. Well, there goes a few eighty bucks, two hundred dollars that I could use. Oh well. There we go. If you're all wondering what I mean by that, if you haven't watched the earlier parts, there's a uh, chicken trick. You basically hatch chickens and then you sell the chicken for two hundred dollars. For oh, here it is. This is what I was talking about. Oh, it's worthless protoplasm. Okay. What is protoplasm? <clears throat> I don't know. But every time he tries to size up the situation, it makes itself useless. 
Thus, it's called worthless protoplasm. And come on, Bubble Monkey. The Rowdy Mouses protect the gifts, so you have to fight them to get them. Oh well. They're lost. Pretty much. Oof. And that's it. That's pretty much all the enemies left in this cave. And now we're at level 7. Woohoo! But yeah, Jeff is the... He's a mixed bet. Ooh, stun gun, but I'm full of inventory. I'm full of inventory, yes. Brent I'll have to eat one. Me. I'll have to eat one of my foods. Stun gun. I think this is an equip item, but I'm not sure. Yes, it is. So basically, Jeff is the mage. Then you have no. Jeff Paula, is not the she's mage. like the healer. Well. Jeff isn't really the mage because he has no psychic points, therefore no magic. Eh. Well, more like a... Alright, maybe an archer? Pretty much, yeah. And then Paulo's more of a healer now, mage. this guy is actually quite important to the story. This guy right here. His head looks weird. Oh, trust me, he comes very, very important and lighter in the game. Now, this is when you actually get your ass beat inside the maze, you can take a rest, and then you have full health. Now, tell me, Brandon, does that look familiar? Hey, it's the pencil thingy. Yep, that means we have to come back here way later. Now, here's an interesting set story here. Right now, we're right inside the sanctuary. But unfortunately, since we're not Ness, we can't really do anything about it. Ooh, I actually got 40 damage out of that. Ooh, and that slug's gonna kick my ass. Attack slug. <laughs> Alright. Unfortunately, there's gonna be a long hike through this fucking cave just to get away from this attack slugs. But the attack slugs have some piss poor fucking uh, endurance, even for Jeff's standards. Actually, Jeff is a power buff, really. And the second being uh, Pooh. Pooh is a really strong card hitter, magic, and combat user. That's. Oof. I'm lucky I haven't been getting hit with uh, smash attacks. They usually do a yeah. lot of damage. Yeah, I remember back when you were fighting rats earlier, they did a lot more smash attacks. Yeah. Again, we get attacked by a bunch of slugs. And it's edging, you think they'd be slow. And they're edging very close. And Jeff gained another level. Awesome. Level 8, woohoo! What I told Jeff, or yeah, Jeff, you're Jeff now, Brandon. What I told Brandon is that I'm gonna probably cut the recording halfway because I want to really grind a certain enemy for a certain item for a while. Ooh! Ooh, that's not good. Smash attack. Yep. Run my mouth, and there it is. But the funny thing is. I'm surprised that Jeff survived that. Yeah. I can't believe I said the funny thing is twice. Oh my fucking god. Ooh. Ah, god damn it. Stupid monkey. There's all slugs. Yeah, it's more slugs. That's actually a good place to level grind. Except for the mice. What's that? Except for the mice. And the mice are okay. They don't do that much damage, but they don't... I wouldn't really, uh... Go for it. Go for it. Oh, no. Oh, fuck my life. It's a evil mushroom. It's a rambling evil shroom. Oh, what happens if you burn them? 
Well, that is their weakness, PSI Fire. Now I got my. Is the party ass getting kicked. strange effects? What's that? Is the party getting strange effects? Yes, I can do that. Oh, I can test out the insect spray on the slugs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a butterfly. Awesome. So, to je I just basically wasted health items. Fuck my life. And there's my dog again. Come on. Oh, my God. Wow, that was awesome. Killed it. Ah, fucking mushroom left me a cookie. Oh, just the thing. Ha! Ah, I never had that happen before. What? Ness's uh, father just called on Jeff. Never had that happen before. <laughs> Oh, by the way, did you see that guy thing over there? The flashing thing? Yep, that's the Sanctuary Guardian. Sanctuary oh, okay. Guardian. Guardian. Oh, this oh that's is the boss gonna get, Oh, this is gonna get nasty. Oh, that's right. I fucking gave my guy the uh, cheap bracelet. Don't forget to use um, insect spray when you get the slugs. I will try. But I can't guarantee anything. Gotta survive at first. I might not actually be able to show you guys the enemy that I'm talking about, because I'm almost done with the recording. We've been interrupted so many times by the fucking enemies in this cave. Oh, look at that crystal. Ooh, shiny. Ooh, a bottle rocket. That's awesome. Alright. I use bubble gum on. Yep. Huh. This is the reason why I like this part of the game. Teamwork. And the monkey does a little dance and puts the rope down and it climbs down when it could have stayed up there. Huh. <sighs> it's fucking awesome. shrooms. Run. Hopefully I can show you the one enemy that I really want you to see before I have to end the recording. Oh wow, the monkey just killed the- nope. I thought the monkey was gonna kill the shroom. Fucking cookies. Actually, I think I could use that cookie. Oh, maybe not. Oh well. But anyways. We lose the monkey now. Oh, it finds a girlfriend. Story of my fucking life. <laughs> Anyways, it's Stonehenge. What? Don't spit your gum out, even though it does flavor. Ooh. Oh shit. Yeah, these are Run. the enemies right here. Now this ain't one. Th now, this like is now this is one thing I ain't gonna regret. I have to use it against this guy because look how much damage that did. 130. It did 31 damage. And I think I'm dead. I'm dead. Died. Well, and that's the reason why you gotta be careful. Anyways. Uh, I just wasted a bottle rocket too, didn't I? Yes, I did. Well, guys. That's about it. When I get back... We'll be taking on, I'll be taking on a few of those cape boys to get the items that I need. And then when you join me next time, we'll be on our way back to Threed. So this is it. See you guys later.